Okay, so welcome everyone. We'll just continue from where we left on last time. Now we have a good voltage to work with. We're still far from DC voltage. Yep, you won't power any IC with AC voltage. It sounds like crazy stuff here since we still have a pair of 20 volt, but it's still a 60 hertz frequency, so it's not usable as a DC voltage. So the next logical step we want to take is to rectify the AC voltage. You could configure yourself for diode to create a rectifying bridge, but you may end up burning some of your diode before you get it done right. So what I prefer is to use those already bridge rectifier like this one. They are strong and can handle voltage and current. So just check for the specs since uh, we're just creating a dual voltage supply for bench and test something like 2 amp seems fine and even better these little bridge rectifier are really easy to use there's two input with some AC symbol in the center your output are labeled with uh, positive and negative let's place this component somewhere clever so this is our bridge rectifier and these here are the input where you will put the AC voltage and here you have the positive and the negative. So remember we did nothing with the center tap last time and now it's time to connect it to the ground. This is gonna be our secondary ground and in any case it shall not be connected to the primary ground which is going to be connected to the metal casing of the supply. So in the end we're still having two signal coming out of the bridge rectifier the positive signal and the negative signal and we will continue here with the positive, the negative, our ground which will be connected to this ground, the ground of the secondary. So we have three line right now. And what is coming out of the positive should look a little bit like that. And what is coming out of the negative output on the probe should look a little bit like that. So it's DC pulse polarized positively and DC pulse negatively polarized. And the center is the zero. The zero is that line here. And this is not close not really close of what we want to achieve it's not even close of DC voltage so what we want to do is to eliminate most of the ripple and how will we do that well with filtering capacitor the capacitor will charge and discharge preventing or reducing the big gap in our pulses here so when choosing a capacitor I suggest you check the value first here we have about 20 volt maybe and minus 20 volt choose a capacitor that is specced much higher way higher than 20 volt I suggest like 50 volt will be really safe and how many microfarad you say well go with 10,000 microfarad is a good choice since we want to have a big charge capacity here the positive is to the most positive edge important note here since we have placed a virtual ground the placement of the capacitor will be different in the negative section of the supply since the negative signal is less positive than the ground the the positive of the capacitor will go to the to the zero and the other side to to the negative we really have filtered the AC now and should look like that with some ripple here but less less gap than without the filtering capacitor still this won't be good to power any IC or OP amps since there is too much variation in the voltage and in the signal so in the next episode we'll choose a good voltage regulator and we will get much more closer to our goal see you soon mm -hmm.